Good morning, guys. This is to review how to ingest yourself with heparin. I had a uh, knee surgery, so although I'm using the antithrombotic stocking, um, my doctor told me that I have to use heparin for about a month post-op, so I'm on week four. Um, so I still use the, I have a few more days with the stocking, the compression stocking, but I'm still injecting myself with 4,000 unit pre-filled syringe of heparin. So ideally it's best if you're laying down, it helps you, uh, but I'm so used to doing it. So I've been doing it standing up because then I have a second injection for the anti-inflammatory which I'll show afterwards. So basically you wash your hands, I already did it, and um, you're supposed to select the site, so just select the site first. Uh, as you can see, I have a little bit of bruising all around. I've been switching the quadrants, so if you divide in four your abdomen, you kind of like you either go, go clockwise or counterclockwise and switch each um, each um, quadrant every day. So today I can do it on this side because yesterday I used this one. So like I said, I washed my hands and I'm gonna clean the area. I'm gonna do it on this side. And do not take the, there's a bubble inside. I don't know if you can see it, of air. Um, you ideally wanna have it on this side, like on the top portion. Sorry, it's not working properly. But anyways, uh, here we go. Don't remove the air. I know it sounds weird, but don't remove it. And we are going to inject ourselves. So take it as a pen. And it's going to be a subcutaneous, which means the needle won't go into passing the subcutaneous layer. So it's not going to go into the muscle. So... Uh, we're going to pinch the skin and just enter and release a little bit and then slowly inject. Okay. And there should be not a, no blood, uh, but sometimes it does. Now in, a, in real life, you're not gonna recap syringes, but I did, it's my syringe. I'm gonna dispose it properly into a disposal at the pharmacy and um, just, uh, um, that's it, that's basically it. Um, the very important thing is don't take the bubble out because that air helps keep the heparin inside once you inject it. So that's it, I'll show you the next uh, intramuscular Stay tuned, intramuscular injection. Ciao.